Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we're gonna be looking into how to create this scroll animation or progress bar in the top of a page when you scroll. It animates in like this. It's a very simple technique, but I like the effect that it's giving. So let's uh, check it out. So starting a new document, as you can see here, let's make it black and make the page longer, like so. Now let's go into our layers and make this a stack, layout, stack. Now let's create some text. Let's say scroll, where's the text? The text is down here somewhere. Can't see it because it's black, so let's make it white. Let's be bold. And 40, where are you? All the way in the top. Good. Now let's wrap this one into a container or another stack. Let's call it section. Fit to fill and viewport 100%. Good. So now we have a section. Let's create a few more just for us to have something to scroll with. So let's do something like this. Make sure this the page itself is set to fit content. Good. Now let's just so we can see where we're going. Let's just create this. Yeah. Change the text a bit. You made it. Is that a unicorn? Why not? Good. Almost there. And keep scrolling. And good. So now we have these sections. Let's add the progress bar in the top. So let's go to, I think it's up here. No, that was text. Let's press S for F for frame. Let's draw it out like this and let's call it progress bar. Let's change it to like a nice yellow. Yeah, that's an orange, something like so. Let's make it eight pixels and set to fill, right? So now we have, this is the progress bar. Let's set it to fixed and let's add this effect to it called scroll transform on scroll let's go from opacity one to scale zero and when we end it should be opacity one and scale one right so if we set this up correctly Look something like this. So when we scroll, get this nice little effect. Good. One thing I do not like is this when you scroll like here, you can see the text behind it. Let's see if we can fix that. So behind the progress bar, let's add a frame. Set it to fill. Let's pull it out of here. Put it behind the progress bar. Under fill, let's add a gradient from black to black, but 0% opacity. Let's put it fixed in the top and let's set the C index to one and the progress bar to two, like this. So now we have this fading effect where the text disappears into the top, which looks kind of nice. There we go. And maybe it's maybe it's eight is even too much. Let's put it to like five. It's not so large. And as a final touch, let's take all the text, these ones, just to add a small effect to it. Effects, uh, scroll animation, layer and view, yes. Fade in or scale in, right? 
Let's try it. So now it bounces in. And it bounces in the top. It gives this, this little fun effect so when you scroll in. So yeah, a very quick one. But uh, it's a fun little effect you can play around with. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, you could also make it vertical if you wanted to. But it just adds this nice little touch to your website. And you can add it to blog posts or CMS items and pages uh, in no time. All right, so thank you so much for watching. And uh, check out the link, the remix link at the bottom if you want to try it out for yourself. And besides that, have a good day and thank you for watching.